everyone welcome back to another video hope you're doing good thank you so much guys for coming back if you're watching me for the first time you're highly welcome my name is Cynthia I upload video here on YouTube every week or twice in a week please subscribe and then don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos in today's video I'm gonna be showing us how to make this Doma handkerchief dress with a turn up sleeve I will be using a three yards of a crepe fabric for this tutorial and the fabric is 16 inches by length we will start with the upper part my fabric is folded into two so I'm cutting out the front and the back together I folded it this way I folded my fabric this way this is the front and this is the back they are both folded into two so we'll go ahead and place the measurement if you like you can take your measurement right from the midpoint of your back neckline to where you want it to be or you place your shoulder measurement here and then add your sleeve measurement here because I'm cutting out the shoulder and the sleeve together so you extend the shoulder to the sleeve side the length of the dress I'm making is 43 inches plus sewing allowance so the upper part is 17 and a half inches so when you minus 17 and a half from 42 inches you'll be left with um, 24 and half inches so the upper part is 17 and a half inches and the lower part is 24 and a half inches so I will start with the upper part my fabric is folded into two both front and back I'm not adding zip to the dress because the fabric is stretchy. If you are using no stretchy fabric, you make sure you add your sewing allowance here to the back side. You add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance here. So I have 18 and a half inches here. I will use one inch for sewing allowance for the upper part and the down part. So let's go ahead and place the shoulder measurement. I'm using 18 and a half inches here. I'll mark 18 and a half inches. Half of the shoulder measurement is 8 inches. So from this 8 inches, I extended it to 18 and a half inches. I added about 10 and a half inches to it. I'll use the half inch for sewing so allowance for the turn up sleeve. So right on this place, I will take the neckline. I'll be using 8 inches for the neckline. If you want the dress to fall off the shoulder one side, you make the neck width to be a little bit wide. I'll mark 8 inches here. So I'll be using the same neck depth for both both the front and the back. I will go down by one inch. If you like, you can go down by half inch. I will connect it like so. So I'm just using one inch for both front and back. So I will go to the side here, mark one inch for shoulder slope. I will connect the shoulder slope to the neckline. So right from the shoulder slope here, I will mark 9 inches for the round sleeve. The round sleeve is 18 inches, divided by 2 is 9 inches. I will add half inch for sewing allowance, that is 9 and half inches. So I mark 9 and half inches here. I will make a straight line here. I will still make my line here. This is the chest line. So what I'm going to do is to place the bust measurement here and place the waist measurement right on the waistline here. So the bust measurement I'm working with is 42 inches divided by 4 is 10.5. I'll mark 10.5 inches. I will mark a half inch for ease because it's a stretchy fabric. I don't want to add one. If you're using no stretchy fabric, you can go ahead and add one inch for ease. To be on the safer side, I will just add one inch for sewing allowance. Normally we don't need allowance for this dress because the fabric is very stretchy. So I add one inch for sewing allowance. I'll go to the waistline and place a quarter of the waist measurement here. So a quarter of the waist measurement is nine and a half inches. I'll mark one inch for that. One inch for sewing allowance and half inch for ease. So I'll go ahead and connect the lines here. I'll connect the lines. We'll go to this side here. That is the lower part. I will go inside by one inch. So I will connect this one inch to meet this line here. I 
So I'll go ahead and connect it like so. If you guys can see the lines. So we go to the waistline here and they impute the that uh, measurement. The boss palm is 8 inches divided by 2 is 4 inches. So we add half inch for sewing allowance. That is 4 and half inches. So this is the that. So this is the boss line. 11 inches. So we come down 1 inch from the boss line. And mark this up. I will take half inch on both sides, half inch on this side for the dart, and half inch on this side. I will make a notch here. If you don't want to add that to it, you can skip it. It's a stretchy fabric. I don't think we even need this dart measurement. So go ahead and cut it out. First we cut out the neckline. I'll cut this out. so this is the upper part so I would like us to join the upper part first before cutting out the lower part I will open up the front and the back I will lay the front and the back against each other right side facing right side I will hem the neckline. Is that how you use a bias tip to hem it? You will sew it right from the right side and then turn it to this side and stitch it round. Or you take a quarter of an inch twice and hem it round. So I'll be hemming it without the bias tip. I'll just take a quarter of an inch twice and hem it round. Then I'll use half inch to join the shoulders here. So I'm not stitching this side at the moment. I would like to add the tunnel sleeve before joining the sides together. I will also sew my dart front and back. So guys, I finished uh, joining the shoulders. I've also hemmed the neckline. This is the neckline. I didn't use bias tape to hem it. I just fold a quarter of an inch twice and hem it round. So I've also stitched my dart. What we are going to do next is to add the turn up sleeve so i cut out about five inches what i didn't do to is two and a half inches when you open it up you have five inches i just want it to be bold so what we are going to do is to turn this you will measure here and use it to cut this out you will stitch it first make sure you stitch up this place and take the wrong side of the the sleeve tip and place it here so this is right side and place it like so I'll use half inch to join them together. So after I've done that, I'll make a top stitch here. The seam allowance will go to this side. After making the top stitch, you will turn it like so. Let me just use pin to hold it down. You give it a good press. We join the sides together. So one inch is our sewing allowance. I will stitch it from here to the waistline. I will do the same thing for this side. So guys, I finished stitching both sides together. So this is the tunnel sleeve. So I make sure I tag this place down. Just tag it down by the shoulder here, by the shoulder line here. 
and on this side also so what we are going to do now is to measure the side and use it to cut out the handkerchief flag so I have 19 inches here 19 plus 19 is uh, 38 inches because we're making a food flag I will divide the 38 inches by 6.28 6.28 is the formula we use for 360 degree flag. To know the fabric you're going to cut out, I will add the radius to the length of the lower part. To get the radius, I will divide 38 by 6.28. I have 6 inches yet. I will add these 6 inches and the length of the lower part together. So I have 30.5 inches here. So that is what we are going to be measuring out. So that we don't waste fabric. this side. That we measure 30.5 inches right on this side. And measure 30.5 inches on this side. My fabric is already folded into two. So I measure the length. The radius and the length is 30.5 inches. This length here is 30.5 inches when I fold it into two. This side also is 30.5 inches. So... This is the mark here. I will fold it 30.5 inches like so. So I'm making use of the whole length. So my fabric is folded into four. Let me measure it so you guys can see it. So this is 30.5 inches. So it's folded into four. What we are going to do first is to measure out the radius, that's the 6 inches. Right from here, I will mark 6 inches around. I will connect the lines. This is the radius. To get the length, I will measure right from here, 24.5 inches. I will still mark it round. So I will measure 24 inches round. Before I will show you guys how you can make the anchor chief effect. This is the simplest method you can use. It's 24.5 inches, so in allowance is also included. Connect the lines. So this is the line. In order to get the handkerchief effect, I'm going to be adding 9 inches to the 24.5 inches. So we go to this angle here, this angle, we just place our tape measurement here. Make sure it's straight. So right on this angle, I will add about 10 or 8 inches to the length. So I will place it like so, it should be on this middle part here. So right from here, this is my 24 inches length, I will add up to 8 or 8 and a half inches to it. Okay, let me add 8 and a half inches, I will add 8 and a half inches to it. So this is the midpoint, I will mark this 8 and a half inches here. I will make a line here for a better understanding. So this is the 8 inches, the handkerchief effect. What we are going to do is to make a line here. Make a line here to meet this. To meet this. And also make a line here. You just connect it here. Hope you guys can see it. So this is the amount we added to form the handkerchief at the bottom is 8.5 inches. So you add this to the 24 inches you marked out earlier. If you like, you can reduce it to 5, 6 or 7 inches. So that's it. I think I will cut out this shape first. I will cut out the lower part first.
So I will cut out the radius. So let me open it up. So you can see the handkerchief effect here and on this side. So what we are going to do is to attach this to the upper part. So this is the midpoint. This is the midpoint of the lower part. I will tuck this inside, right side facing right side. So you match the front midpoint together, match the back midpoint together. I will use half inch to join them together. I will sew it around. And I will hem the bottom of the dress. I will take half inch twice, hem this side, hem this side, and then hem this other side. So guys, this is the finished look of the dress. This is the handkerchief effect, front and back. It depends on you and where you want it to be. So the effect is just at the midpoint here, front and back. This is the side, one is here, and one is on this side also. This is the neckline, this is how wide the neckline is. We have come to the end of today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.